FB tweet. Pinterest email send text message print. Kate Middleton is honoring her host country of Jamaica with the second glamorous look of her and Prince William's Caribbean tour. The couple attended a special dinner on Wednesday evening at King's House, the official residence of the Governor General of Jamaica, Sir Patrick Allen, who represents Queen Elizabeth. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are currently on the second leg of their tour of the Caribbean in honor of the monarch's platinum jubilee. For the event, Kate wore a sparkling green Jenny Packham gown, paying homage to the color of Jamaica's flag. She wore her hair in a chic updo and accessorized her look with emerald jewels on loan from the Queen. She also wore her special insignia, the Dame Grand Cross of the Royal Victoria Order GCVO, and the Royal Family Order Badge, which she reserves for formal royal occasions such as state dinners and banquets. On Monday, Kate stepped out in another glam look as she and William attended a special reception at the Mayan ruins of Cahalbeck on the final night of their visit to Belize. Kate sparkled in a hot pink shimmering metallic gown with ruffled sleeves by the British brand, The Vampire's Wife. For the first time, the royal couple is facing significant backlash on an official tour. Although they have received warm welcomes from many locals, they are also encountering mounting tensions in the Caribbean nations where William's grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, remains head of state. Outside the UK, the Queen remains head of state in 14 nations around the world, including Belize, Jamaica and the Bahamas, an arrangement that critics say is excruciatingly outdated. Protests in Jamaica and earlier in Belize are only the latest evidence of the historic shift underway. Another Caribbean country, Barbados, broke ties with the Queen in November, voting in its first president, and Jamaica may soon follow suit. During a meeting with Jamaica's Prime Minister, Andrew Holness, earlier on Wednesday, Holness directly addressed his country's intention to break away from the British monarchy. Sources tell people that William and Kate were aware of the situation and the protests. Any decision about becoming a republic is for the people and government of Jamaica, the sources point out. William is expected to acknowledge the issue of slavery in his speech on Wednesday evening.